Instead of just slapping your logo file onto a video, it's so much more appealing to integrate the logo into a scene. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that easily in After Effects. Hey everyone! First, create a comp and add your logo. Align it to the bottom. Let's add the scene we want to use to a comp. Then right click on the clip, go to track and stabilize, choose track camera. And the effect analyzes the scene and creates track markers. Just a few in this case, because the street doesn't have a lot to work with. Drag the cursor over the track marks in front of the model, which is why we want to place the logo. It creates this red point, right click on it and choose create solid and camera. Let's check if the solid is shifting on the floor. If so, we find the right position. This indicates where to position the logo file, which we add. First, we move the anchor point to the bottom edge, hold command to let it snap into place. Then we turn it into a 3D layer, scale it up, then position it. You can hide the solid now. To make this logo integration convincing, we need realistic shadows to place it on the floor. The shadows are long and the light is coming from the left. Instead of using lights to create the shadows, I'll choose a different approach. First of all, we add a gradient ramp, swap the colors and darken the bottom edge. And then we duplicate the comp, name it shade and move it below the logo. Rotate it, X around 100 degrees. To shift the direction of the shape, we use a transform effect. Set the skew axis to 90 degrees, then skew to its max value 70. Let's adjust the position. We're not there yet, so let's duplicate the effect. That's it. We slightly adjust the position again. To soften the shadows, we add CC Radial Fast Blur. Amount around 25. To adjust the shadow color, we use the gradient ramp and pick the shadow colors from the clip. We need to move the shadow comp slightly up to align it with the bottom edge of the L. You can also use a mask to cut off the overshoots of the round letters. And add some noise to both comps to match the grain in the video clip. Amount around 15, no color noise. 